primarily the nursery schools, the age group 4 to 10, and this is an internal form for the school that is, we will be using, using it in direction boards like you can see here in short is board titles, classroom, classroom uh, main board, and parking lots, playgrounds, canteen, directions to toilets, and all that. All the uh, things that the kids take, the audiences the kids take. And uh, the basic design philosophy we want for is that geometry. The kids will be playing with basic geometrical shapes. So they like the font that will be based on simple geometry. And the initial evolution of the font. So, we start with the letter A, uh, start with basic geometry here is the equilateral triangle and punch out more basic geometry shapes from that like a circle, a semicircle. Then finally we will have sharp corners like here and here. So that corners will soft not, we will have rounded corners here. So we get a final letter. And we improvise on this, add extra elements like uh, kids will go with more of a cartoonish comical ideas. So we add eyes, the font's name is one eye. So it's like basic idea is to make it like a monster. So kids love yeah. monsters. They love colors. They love lot of shapes. They love monsters. Coffee 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 and in special cases, right, when decoration stuff and all that, so you'll have the eyelashes, you'll have the legs, those things to add value to the monster, right? Yeah, like going with the basic, as we had tried to design this this way, but it was turning out to be something different from all the other ones. The thickness was different. So we went with another idea, like a rectangle cut out to semi circles or circles. We get a thicker rest, so some, that was the difficult letter, and everything else follows the same, same idea. Okay, awesome, guys. Great. Okay, so just a quick, quick question. So how do you know in letters like an S, how do you know where the eye will go? There's two, because there's two Yeah, again, yeah. Uh, see, this one, again, we have to look at it. Yeah, that's very good actually. In fact, you know, uh, there are certain cases where you know, we have to define two S's, like right? you know, one with the I here, one with the I here. And also there are certain alphabets, like you know, certain could be like uh, library or something. There, there are two I eyeballs together to make more sense. Also. So we need to do those special cases. Like yeah. I saw it. Left side outer curves always thick. Um, 
And we thought that, you know, even if you have to write it like really fast, this would work. And when you have multiple lines, the thick bottom of the top line and the thin top of the next line would let you differentiate without having like a full thick, full on thick font. So that's kind of what we went for. Um, yeah, for historical monuments. Like when letters, like a lot of letters have. Or one of the emperor asked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no uh, like, exact yeah, reason. We just picked that. Uh, so yeah, th these are two attempts at a move because we didn't like the first one. We tried another type of move, but uh, yeah, that's. One question, was it Gothic or was it uh, Mughal. Mughal? Both, like if you see, like the middle has like pointed and goes out, So how Gothic do goes like this. Yeah. Gothic is this and this. Yeah, this. See, the yeah. Gothic, see the Gothic is more, so do you think that I mean both these two will go together? I mean that is just an observation that I am giving. It will be blending. Okay, guys, silence. Everybody, please. Guys, silence. It's based on the uh, on historic monuments and uh, I think it will be based on their like, uh, heritage, royal, ornamental, and rich. And heritage in the royal is because India has a culture of uh, small kingdoms before the British rule. And so everything, even if you look at the IPL team system, everything is royal or kings or whatever. So that was the idea behind the response. So uh, initially we tried to make it, make the, the bottom a little bigger, like a tower and all those monuments. But it wasn't working out for, um, uh, for example, at the D, if you want to make P out of it, just doesn't work. So, so we came up with this, which has a, a rich, broad stem and um, and narrow, sorry, broad, um, what do you call it? Vertical. Yeah. And then um, a thin. Yeah. And then we have a, we went for a serif font, so, so that we can play with the serif and decorate the serif a little bit, not too much. Uh, the cognition and uh, 
standardizable then whether it is it can be you know produced. Okay. These are the shapes that are taken over here. So these are the four peaks and uh, primarily these are the two ones which we have developed and on to a next level. Consider it on a board or on a dynamic uh that's how you can imagine. Slow-paced environments, more foot traffic, or 20 to 30 kilometers per hour kind of traffic uh, with speed breakers and so on. So therefore, we were trying to find the balance between road signs by definition are, you know, obviously important and in certain environments, you know, they could determine life and death and stuff like that. So the context we've taken is how do we make people pay attention? How do we add a little more flavor? We know road signs need to be crisp, clean. Uh, to the point, you get a millisecond to acknowledge it and then act on it. So at the same time, you want to find something more attractive, you know, build some personality around it. So based on that, you know the signs we came up with. Something. So uh, the concept that we basically inspired us, we were talking, we were thinking of Bangalore as the city primarily, and thinking of the fact that it's a, a circular city, a ring city. So we decided to make a font that incorporates that form within it along with straight line, which is why the emphasis on the curves, um, lowercase or uppercase. This is, I mean, of course, as a road signage, like he said, in, in a slow-paced environment, so you take more notice, you probably see this and stop and look at it really. So something a little different from what you see usually. And um, yeah. The name is <laughs> <laughs> so, so if anybody wants to use this, you need to take our permission. This is the What was the reason for walking? <laughs> yeah, so it basically meant for me. want to say that don't walk, go in a car. <laughs> no, it's, it's, so yeah, L is a challenging is alphabet. That's what we realized when we named it. Because that's an L, not a C. Oh. When we made it, we were like, oh, it looks like a C. How do we make an L with a circular <coughs> form? That is something we need another. We corrected it later, and that's a great part. So, I guess those are some challenges that you have to go through when you design Can the same thing be adapted to a different city, which is not a circular city or ring city? It could be, but this is just an inspiration that we So, have a very quirky question. Your S looks exactly like a 4. What would you do for a 4? Like 40 kilometers per hour. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is 
should have done a focus on this one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> something that's more clear. What is, is what the context? context? Uh, there are two, uh, this is for two concepts. That's for road signage as well as uh, schools. We'll explain you that. Uh, road concept, first of all, is first of all, it's clear, a large and it's enlarged. So, any person who's going and zooming in a high speed vehicle can see very easily and can proceed on because he knows that there's a school ahead. So, he can slow down. It's up to him that he slows down, else it's up to him to fast. <laughs> so, the next thing is. Because there's a school ahead, school is a memory where we are all children. So it's something like, you, can, you guys can see the fonts that are typically made not with so much animation or graphic, just like small children just scratching away something. So it reminds of school. So it's something that people should stop, throw down the speed of school. So it's also a visible space in our road signage. Because it is for both schools and roads, is it like while you will cross the roads like you would do on uh, while you are in school? Because it's for both your the context is it's for you'll use it both on the road as well as the school. So are you trying to say that school is like the road? Or the road is like the school? So it's the road before school. School ahead. School ahead. Yeah. School ahead. <laughs> Very specific. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
So uh, this one's called the ponytail. <laughs> so this is a little girl with a ponytail, and the uh, A, the curve, will form a ponytail. And then we hit a brick wall with the D because it'll be that weird standing, one, which is not uncommon, right? There are a bunch of people yeah. who do that, and then there's an H, and then there's an E, and an S, and an I. So we hit again I. I is a pencil. Yeah. So we thought it's a pencil. But then we can also make it into a just a ponytail pencil. With right? a dot. And then the dot. The ball could start with a dot. Or the edge of the ponytail. Yeah. And the O is like two ponytails, and then the M is a side view.
want to see what we can do more, Why not? then just meetups or you know, plan different meetups. Or yeah. even activities for that matter, mm -hmm. any type of yeah. anything. We're just looking to, you know, put some structure to it rather than just periodically meet up and do these activities, but also do it in a much more structured way. <coughs> so great guys, thank you. Uh, we'll meet up no matter what anyways on third Saturday of every month. And uh, yeah, share the photos, tweet about it. Let good designers know about it. Let good designers know about it. <laughs> 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 yeah, as a group, we all